If you're in the market for a resin printer or you've been keeping up with the advancements in resin printing technology, you've probably heard the term monochrome or monochromatic. Today we're going to take a look at the newly released Anycubic Mono and talk about the benefits of monochrome screens. The Photon Mono boasts a 2560 by 1620 monochrome LCD with a build volume that's 80 millimeters on the X, 130 millimeters on the Y, and 165 on the Z. So what's the deal with monochrome screens? Simply put, they push more light from your light source into your resin, which drastically reduces layer exposure time. In this case, it cut the standard eight second layer exposure time down to only two seconds. Here's the screen in the Photon S, and here's the monochrome screen in the Photon Mono. It's difficult to tell the difference on camera, but the mono screen is much, much brighter. You can clearly see a more intense light passing through it. The light source uses a series of lenses to ensure the light emitted is perpendicular to the LCD and ensures there's no refraction of the UV light when passing through the LCD. Along with the Photon Mono, Anycubic sent over their wash and cure station. If you watch my review of the Elegoo Saturn, you know that I'm not the best at resin cleanup, but this machine makes the process quite simple. It uses a magnetic stir plate to agitate your washing solution and a rotating platform and UV light to cure the model. My first test print was a large Pikachu model. This print took around two hours. My second test print was the Prusa Resin Benchmark. I was quite surprised at how well this turned out. All of the very fine details remained intact and were printed in under an hour. My third print was this Mandalorian figure. It turned out very nice with tons of detail, but during the washing cycle, picked up a lot of the resin debris that was now in my cleaning solution. To solve this, I transferred my isopropyl to a clear bottle and ran a few cure cycles to solidify the suspended resin. I then left the bottle outside and let the resin fall to the bottom of the bottle before filtering it back into the cleaning container. And here's my final test print. Although some of this print failed, the detail the machine was able to capture was incredible. All in all, I think monochrome displays are a huge step forward in the resin printing technology, and it's nice to see Anycubic iterating on their popular photon machines. One thing I found weird about resin printing is the DIY nature of post-processing. Whether it's dunking your prints in an iso bath and placing them in the sun to harden, or using a homemade curing chamber, the process just seemed incomplete. The wash and cure station adds a polished touch to the user experience and sort of completes the resin workflow for me. Thanks to Anycubic for sending these machines to me for an honest review. If you'd like to check them out, I'll leave some links in the description. Thanks for watching and happy printing.